Hey guys, my name is Marius from Please Fix and today I will show you how to do one of my most popular TikToks with over 15 million views about the McDonald's moving 3D burger. And I've been blown away by your support. I mean, I just started this channel last Wednesday and we already gained so much traffic, so much support from your side. And I just want to deliver a good tutorial now so you all guys can finally start doing great presentations and um, yeah I will be doing more like these YouTube videos in the future to give you further insights so feel free to subscribe and on TikTok I will also post some more short videos some hacks and other stuff that you can look at and also just inspiring PowerPoint presentations that you can use in order to um, amaze your teachers in the end so let's start. So I will not do the McDonald's logo here because um, I don't want to get copyright claimed. So let's do a M and choose the font Aharoni uh, and make it bold and make it very big. So let's see, it's 90 in this case. And it's maybe not big enough. So let's, let's do 200. Okay, that looks fine. And then uh, we will make it yellow so we have the McDonald's here and let's remove this here. Then we're going to format the background. You can press right and then format background and this opens up then. Then you're going to make the background red and this looks correct. Now we're just going to drag that down. If you hold shift while doing that, it will not get wobbly and move from the left to the right. So hold shift and then it will stay in the middle and you can move it around pretty easily. And it will also show you when it's in the middle like that with these little lines. Okay, this is our first slide. Then press and press on the slide and press enter. Then it will create a new slide. Mark all of it and remove it. And now we want to add a shape on the bottom like this. And we want to make this shape red as well. Then we want to have some more text. So I will actually copy this one because it's a very similar text like on the first page. But this time we will use Helvetica. So let's drag that over here. And right, I love it and make it a little bit smaller. I think this is pretty similar to what is in my TikTok and use Helvetica like that. Okay, I think now it looks good. Then we need to add a picture on the right side. So actually I can show you a little trick when I pull in my window here. So uh, you're gonna search on Unsplash for burger and then you can just select a photo uh, let's 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 use this one and then we can add this to our powerpoint so like that just drag it in from your downloads folder and then i just want to place it here on the on the side and also here we're gonna just drag it down a bit and to fit the style, let's make it here in corrections and color. I'm gonna make it black and white. So this looks about right. And then on top, we also want to add a, another text box with Helvetica. And this time it's gonna be just to do this, you just press Control and shift and hold these both and also hold your left mouse click Okay, so you can select this hold Control hold shift and then just drag it up with your mouse and Release the mouse and then it will just duplicate it to the place where you need it um so let's name it more burger okay 
let's make it smaller on top of here and then let's make it black i'm just gonna drag it a little bit like this so i think this looks about right okay next up we will create a yellow slide so again just press enter then you have a new slide and then we will have a solid fill with yellow and then in order to create this cool oval shapes i had in the background we're just gonna create some shapes here just like so put it in the middle make a solid fill of black say you don't want any outline then make it transparent like that okay and then you just want to duplicate this so just duplicate it drag it to the middle again so they are both overlaid and then hold control and drag it so now it will do it evenly on both sides so that you can actually have this effect then do it again command d put it into the middle hold control and make it bigger so now we have three oval shapes and for the next slide we wanted to have those oval shapes turned to the side so we click here on the left on the slide and command d mark all three of them and rotate them just like this and then the same thing again want to command d and we want to rotate them even further just like this perfect and for the last one we're gonna create it even further and you will see in a minute what this will create okay now it is a mistake uh, so no, like that this looks about right okay so now the next like is gonna be white again so you press enter let's make this bigger and insert a text box again and now i'm gonna say in bold big tasty burger okay and make those guys bigger this time i'm gonna use montserrat oops which is a google font that you can just download on google and then install it to your computer i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger here and then you can go um, to line spacing options and here you can see that you don't want to have them so close to each other but i'm not gonna go into this so you can de or increase the spacing just how you want it it just does not look right for you and here i'm just gonna make mark that and turn it into purple and below we are gonna use a pinkish color so let's go inside of here search for magenta okay there is no magenta actually <laughs> okay it's not saved on this computer for some reason um so i am just going to go to the crayons and we'll select strawberry for now okay this looks about right for me and then we want to duplicate this move it to the bottom and then white write the calorie line okay just do this and this time we're going to use a light gray okay and make it smaller so it stays in one line okay this looks good to me 
even make this longer and a little bit bigger. And now it's about right. Just a little bit like this. Okay, this is good, I think. And then for the last slide, you can duplicate the first slide. Control D, move it to the bottom. And then just maybe just copy this text, copy the text and say, I love it. And uh, you can also mark all text by pressing Command A or on Windows Control A, make it yellow, central, and then just move it below. And it looks about right for me here. Okay, so now we are going to add the burger. So you can do this by insert. Then we choose 3D models and this will open up this menu. If it doesn't open right away like this, you have to use stock 3D models. So this will pull up this menu and then go to all animated models. And then scroll down until you see the hamburger. Now press insert and then it's inserting this 3D model. And as you can see, there's also already our nice animation. But how can we actually work with this now? So, okay. So you want to go here on scenes. And right when it's about correct for you, you are just gonna pause this scene. So you just say none when it's at the moment that you need for your presentation, okay? So this time it's gonna be like this. Then we make it much larger and move it here to the top. And then just rotate it up, move it on top. I will show you in a minute what this will create. And then copy, command C, command V, and move it down here and rotate it up again, just like this. But now this is over the text. So we're gonna look at the text here and say with the text box selected, bring to the front, just like this. Okay, if I now go to transitions, I will just show you this right now. So you can see for the other slide. If I now press more, uh, okay, <laughs> I removed the burger for some reason. <laughs> okay, one second. <laughs> if I have the burger here and then rotate it up, just like this. And then I preview more, it will move the burger down here. So this is what we wanted from the start. This nice smooth animation of the burger coming down from the top. So this is what we're gonna do with the burger across all slides. So now we're gonna move the burger to this slide and we will actually move it in the middle and then say for 3D model, scenes, and then scene one, and stop it right away. Make it smaller, just like this, and then you have it perfect in the middle. And then we can also add morph again. And as you will see, it will make this nice animation, opening up the burger and showing you all the details. So we're gonna repeat this process for all the other slides. So copy the burger, move it onto this slide. And first we want to showcase the bun and the onions. So we make this bigger. This is actually maybe a little bit too big. And then we're just gonna move it like this so you can see the onions and the bun better and add morph. Boom, this looks very nice, huh? Okay, so let's just repeat this process for the rest of the slide. So let's go through the whole, oops, go through the whole different 
ingredients and you can always like move the burger a little bit like this because if you then add morph it will also turn the burger a little bit otherwise it will look a little bit static i think and then last one move it up and turn it even further as you can see this is very nice so add morph and boom there you go perfect transitions every time as i said in the past so this looks pretty good now so the burger will move like this and like this so it's pretty nice okay and then we just want to grab the burger from the last slide copy the burger again and, and move it into that slide <laughs> go to 3d model again play the scenes Right when you have what you want, press stop. May, uh, the size is actually good, I think. So you can make it a little bit smaller. And now we have our big tasty burger on top of our text, just how we wanted it. And we're going to transitions, add morph again. Boom. That's what we wanted. And for the last slide, ah, this is why I edited the burger in the beginning. Okay, this was my mistake. I want to add the burger here. Okay, one second. Just copy this burger here. And then uh, we want to make it smaller. And then we are going to say 3D model scenes oops and i think it was scene three yes okay perfect that's that's what we wanted from the from the very start so as you can see if we now use the transitions again and morph it, it will work like a charm so it will move the burger from here and and start this scene pretty much so it's very nice okay so all that we are missing now is the rest of the small animations that we need so for the M for example we are not gonna add a transition we're gonna add animation so the animation will be wipe and then we're going to animation pane and we're going to press effect options and we say from the left and now we're going to press with previous so if we preview this it will move in from the left but it should go a little bit slower so let's say medium let's preview that again so that's nice that's what we want but now it also doesn't look nice when the other burgers come from <laughs> when the other animations are coming so we want to to make those even smoother so for that this is how morph, morph works it's just going to copy that hold shift copy that copy that and copy that no we don't we do not copy that Control C, put them all in here and zoom out. Okay. Now we're going to move this to the very right. We're going to move this to the bottom and we're going to move this to the left. And this one we will do in uh, shape format and we will go this into yellow. Why? Because then the effect looks nicer. So now I'm going to show you the transition. Let me make it a little bit bigger again. Preview. You can see. The only thing we're missing now is the nice text animation. Let's use wipe again. And then from the left. And with previous. And then we're going to say two seconds again. So as you can see now, if we're going to do a preview, 
very nice that's just what we wanted okay so next up are our little info boxes we have on the left and right on our burger menu so for those I will just showcase you two and you can do the rest because it's all the same progress so let me zoom in here so first up you will create a circle then you will duplicate that circle okay then you hold control and make this sorry Oop. <laughs> then you will control and shift and make this circle bigger okay now repeat the process circle control shift make it bigger then you're gonna make this circle red and say you don't want a outline then you will make this circle no shape fill and a white hotline Oop. and a white hotline and then this circle you will also give it no fill and a white outline but the outline should be in dashes and it should be a little bit thicker just like this then you will choose these three go to a line a line to center a line to middle and then you want to group all of them so now this is just one big object as you can see so we can allocate this to these and then we want to go to insert and insert a line this line make it white and make it a little bit thicker and then you just want to add text on both the top and the bottom and then you're pretty much good to go you just want to repeat the whole process for all the others but i can show you really quick on this one so test One, two, and here as well. Test, and I will make this one just yellow and add another like this. Okay, so now it looks nice. So for those, you will choose also a animation, not a transition. And in this, you will actually use the following Yes, you want to use grow and turn. You see how cool this look? And on those, you want to use wipe. And in this case, from the left. And you can mark those two here and say with previous. And then you want to do and select this part the straight connector and a, a little delay so what will this create is that this will come first out and this will move over there and then those two can just appear from the top and the bottom oh sorry that was the microphone so they can wipe as well you can you be you can be creative with those and then after you finish this and you want to showcase the rest, you just copy the whole thing, control copy, and bring it down to where you need it. And then make it bigger, just like this. Sometimes you have to see um, that the spacing stays correct. So actually like this, and like this. Okay, like so. Here you want to remove all animations for sure, so because they're already out. 
and you can see that morph will do all the job for you so this animation works and then if you go here and go into transitions morph will actually do the stuff for you and if you make the text bigger here it will even look much much nicer now okay let me show you in a second oops move this up here transitions preview so this is pretty much it the rest is pretty simple you just have to repeat the process for the rest of the presentation and then you will have a nice mcdonald's burger king wendy's i don't know presentation i hope this helped you guys a lot and it wasn't too boring i would really it would really help me if you would subscribe to the channel i will also start and sell a new powerpoint template with a lot of slides specifically designed for students and you can choose this library basically to make all of your presentations these are not too specific to any topic you can use them and make perfect presentations every time and yeah this one's been it for for today i hope you enjoyed and i'm looking forward for the next one and looking forward to hearing from you guys and i hope you have a great day and yeah that's it i don't know what to say this is my first youtube video so <laughs> <laughs> um, have a good day guys ciao ciao